beautiful tough lady smoking a lot of cigarettes. Hey, it's Ashley and Alyssa. And you're welcome. And welcome to this year's MBSA Cafe Blend. Like a wide array of performers from yeah. the parties to acoustic to spoken word and poetry come for more just to show how diverse MBSA is and how well we adjust and accept everyone no matter what they are and what they do. I was a deer caught in your headlights, paralyzed by your smile. Then you struck me with your SUV, <laughs> and my blood spill on your windshield. <laughs> One hand in the air if you're lonely. <laughs> that girl, she let you down. She took you to the figurative mountaintop. Oh, but then she pushed you off the cliff. But then she pushed you off the cliff. But then she pushed you off the yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not under spell anymore. Oh, and by the way, hey, your mother, she's a whore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, talk about your mama. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about your mama. Cause your mother always loved to talk about me. Your mama's so fat. How fat is your mama? I'm so fat. She doesn't say thank you. <laughs> she says, Mom! But I want you back. Thank you. What I said about your mama. Your mama's not that fat. I love your mama's easy, Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
American dream. The American dream does not have room for knocked up and pregnant at 19. My best friend lies in bed, waiting for the blood to shed. Looking at the clock, counting down the minutes till the mistake has been bled. I'm here thinking that this, this doesn't happen to girls like us. Girls with dreams and arms with almost college degrees. Daughters of immigrants. We've been taught since birth about our mother's broken dreams, heartaches, and heartbreaks. We came into the world and cried when the doctor slapped our backsides. Not because it hurt, but because we were blinded by our mother's hope. It was so bright it hurt the newborn eyes. <laughs> Failure has never been an option. Success never a choice. And before this moment, I thought, this kind of thing doesn't happen to young women like us. These are the type of things that intervene in the lives of trailer park girls who can only dream about owning their very own double wide. You never know when the big moments, the life-changing words, the forever you'll never be the same person ever again type suspended moment in time is there until it's already passed by. She told me one night over dinner, and this big moment slipped under the guise of our normal everyday conversation. There was no drum roll, no music in the background to forewarn me that life as I knew it would not be the same. And I look at her, and I wish I could help her carry the pain. I stand outside the bathroom door because I can hear her muffled cries, all the way away from where I had been sitting on the bedroom floor. She's doubled over on the toilet seat, locked herself away from crying eyes, so the world will never witness the tears that touch her beautiful cheek. Clutching her tummy and hating herself, she can't get over the shock of the emotion she's never before felt. She won't let herself think that there's a baby growing in inside. Only five weeks along, but it's a light ball, right? She's not willing to breach um, her dreams are almost within her reach, and she's not willing to breach the contract when she's not yet realized her almost dreams. This is life as we know it. We're old enough to know better, but too young to have lived the knowledge. And our mother's American dreams, well, they just don't have room for pregnant at 19. My 
my dreams all I have but my dream. My dream to go to college and my dream to get that cream, cause you know, they, my dream to go to college and my dream to get that cream, cause we never got to see too many black intellectuals. Cause things that were the most black were either violent or sexual. And we never got to read the book Native Son or learn about the work Fannie Lou Hamer had done. And even though my school was 95% black, when it came to AP classes, you know, the smart ones, I was one of three blacks left out of a class of 25. And I want you to tell me why. Maybe they didn't think we were intellectually capable, but their elite and privileged psyches proved to be unstable and fragile as they crumbled under knowledge that I dropped like a gavel because I had just finished reading Battle of the Bullet when one of my teachers said, these are Malcolm's kids, misguided and misled, but just as much as him, we also belong to Madam CJ, because if you know my generation, you know we're trying to get paid. But then again, we also belong to Garvey, trying to go back to places we've never been. I felt cheated because they sold my people short, not knowing about careers unless they were entertainment or sports. So we never knew what we never knew. So we never knew what we should have known. So they always knew what we were supposed to know. So they always knew what we had never known. My dreams, my dreams, all I have are my dreams. He is jealous for me. Loves like her. I am a tree. There's 16 years between us, but tonight, spaces collapse. We swerve in sinuous waves, looking for the natural frequency of drunks on a bicycle. You kiss my neck, and we swipe a parked car, and we fall and laugh. A man helps us get back on, because you smell like fermented roses. I follow your walls to the floor, with the pots of cacti meat hanging photographs. I touch the stucco and letters on the refrigerator and drawings held on by magnets. Your home is beautiful, I said, meaning each word. But she didn't respond. The walls call me, but she is waiting. The thorns on your hips of your rose tattoo sink into my skin. And your wet eyes leak below broken umbrella brows while the walls still call home. <laughs> She holds you in the earth Crying out And so it was Got to say goodbye Once more She rings She stands 